Dreams of sipping pina coladas on a tropical beach and being retired at a very early age. Who hasn't had thoughts like that while sitting at their desk? Well, a growing number of young people are adopting a lifestyle they say can actually make it happen. It's called the FIRE movement. News Center 7's Haley Kosick walks us through what this stands for and how it works. Most people in the FIRE movement, they know their expenses to the T, they know their income, and they really focus on maximizing that gap, creating a big gap between your income and your expenses. And that's just what Cody Berman of Spencer has been doing. About five years ago, he was making $75,000 a year and saving more than two-thirds of it. He then quits his corporate job and started buying real estate and continued to save. Now, fast forward, this past year, and I just announced this on my podcast, I made just over $400,000 and we ended up spending combined, my fiance Lauren and I, about 40,000. So that's like a 90% savings rate, which is astronomical. This is how the FIRE movement works. It's the goal of gaining financial independence and retiring early. Spencer still works here and there, like developing his podcast. Kind of a bunch of different fun stuff that I do to create passive income streams. He and Lauren live in a small condo and say they're happy keeping the material acquisitions to a minimum. We figured out what we value, which is experiences, travel, friends. We don't spend a lot on our housing. We don't spend a lot on our cars. The stories about people retiring before 40 are easy to find, but how hard is it to achieve? I think it's probably 15 to 25 percent of people I think would actually have the follow through to do this just because financial habits are hard to change. Chuck Zada is the managing partner at the Armstrong Advisory Group in Needham. He says while going full steam with fire might be tough for most people, it does have some traits that are good for everyone. It's all about figuring out what you can live on, building a strong budget, you know, living within your means. I think those are actually really good things for people in their 20s and 30s to focus on. I think that one of the reasons you have people talking about this is because a lot of these uh, people in their 20s and 30s They've seen how corporate America has treated their parents for the last 20 or 30 years. I think there are different uh, perceptions about how that long-term employment strategy works. Cody and Lauren certainly have one and feel a sense of freedom living this lifestyle. I feel like we're just stuck in a society where we have to work and work and work until we're, you know, older age, 70, 65. Um, and then by that time, there's not enough time to do the things that we really want to do. And that was New Setter 7's Haley Kosick.